Dinosaur Michelle here, also known as Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party, and welcome back to my channel. With the current situations, I cannot go thrifting, which, I mean, it has its pros and cons. Cons, I can't go thrifting. But also, on the positive side, I'm not spending any money. I shouldn't be spending any money because I had to buy Animal Crossings. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a thrift flip. I haven't done one of these on my channel, and most of the time I use the sewing machine at work, but because I can't go to work right now. I need to use my own sewing machine, which I do have. So that's that's something. It is like a 1990s, 1980s Kenmore in that soft yellow coloring, which I don't know if it came like that or if it was originally white. If you have been following my channel, all 29 of you, then you'll know that in the summertime I thrifted this dress and it was in one of my thrift hauls and I haven't worn it or done anything with it. I'm like, I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do something, and then I get lazy and I don't do it. So the dress that I am going to be thrift flipping today is this one here. Um, I love Sailor Vibes, but also I love Stranger Things Season 3, particularly Scoops Ahoy, and that is why I'm gonna be thrift flipping this. Now there is a few problems with this. One, it's like a little bit too big. Like just a little bit, but I don't know if I want to tailor it in or not because with the over, like with the baggy kind of style, you can always put a belt on it. That's fine. Um, I don't know. Uh, so I think a few things that I am gonna do is one, I am going to take out these shoulder pads. Those are uh, coming out. Um, and then it is a very long, as you can see, if I just keep going up. Yeah, it's super duper long. Um, so my plan is, bear with me, is to, take this part here. Um, now, I can't just cut it because it has, uh, where are they at? It has pockets, okay? And I'm not getting rid of pockets. And they are a good size. You could fit like a bagel in this pocket. You know, it's a bagel pocket. Um, so I don't wanna get rid of the pockets. So what I'm thinking about doing is just taking it from here and bringing it up to here, just in the middle. I think that's like, that's where my waistline is. So this is very 80s and 80s, you know, they like the lower waistline, but in their dresses. Their pants, their pants, they want them hiked up to Timbuktu. <sighs> Let's see if this actually works. Okay, do not mind my grandma slippers. Uh, so <laughs> this is what the dress looks like right now. We have a mud desk, we got the snips, we got the pin cushion. Also, I DIY'd this amazing, cute donut pin cushion. If you want me to do a tutorial, leave it in the comments below. And I'll do it once I can buy felts again. All right, so we'll start by taking these guys off, which will take like two seconds. Also, I still have the price tag. So this one only cost me $10.49. The second thing I have to do is like take this apart. And I don't know if I want to. Like, that's my problem, is like, do I wanna do that? Yes, Michelle, you do need to do that. But it's just like, I'm so afraid that I'm not gonna put together properly again. Like, ugh, that's the thing. Is I'll say, hey, this is an easy project, and in theory, it's super easy. And then once I start doing it, I'm like, maybe I could just go and watch Netflix instead. You know, that goes through my mind. I'm like, I'm not gonna wear it as is. So if I don't just take the chance to like, destroy the thing and put it back together, and if it turns out well, Great, I have a dress for summer, and if it doesn't, that's fine, that's fine. It's been sitting in my closet since the summertime. I need to do something with it now. Also,
I did it. It hurts my arm. My arm hurts from the little snips, but I did it. It's fine. Okay, so they are in now two pieces. Okay, so I moved to the ground and I kind of realized that this skirt is, it's huge. It's gigantic because the way it was like kind of ruched and silly me just didn't pay attention to that while I was undoing it. And I probably should have just cut it and I didn't. And now I got to figure out a way to attach this to this. Okay, update. Uh, so what I've decided to do is I think I'm going to take this and like gather the whole entire skirt and sew that and then attach it to that. It's honestly the only thing I can think of right now that's like making sense in my mind. So I'm gonna go watch a YouTube video of how to gather a skirt. I did watch a few YouTube videos, so I feel somewhat confident. So let's head on over to the sewing machine. The lovely Ken Moore series, Ultra Stitch 10, uh, comes in this lovely yellow, faded yellow color. And right, hopefully this desk will stand because one of the legs broke off and I glued it back with shoe glue. So, knock on wood. So I figured out what was wrong. So what was wrong was this guy. Instead of it going like doop and up and over and whatever it's supposed to actually do, it was not doing that. It was not caught onto that, unfortunately. And so that's where I am right now. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to and I'm not having fun anymore. This gathering is going to take me a while to do. Turn the camera back on once I'm ready to pin it to the actual top. And then I can actually start sewing the dress together. Okay, I did it. I did the ruching somewhat. I don't know. I don't think I'm ever gonna do ruching again. So now it is time to take this and to attach it to the top. And as you can see, my hair is getting messier and messier as I am going crazy. So after being frustrated for a little bit, I kind of figured it out. I feel like I did it very, very wrong. But at this point, I don't care anymore. Like, I'll be honest with you. If I wasn't making a video for this, I would have given up. Like, I would have given up, like, at least a half an hour ago. I really like to finish this video. And the only way for me to do that is finish this godforsaken dress. I'm real, real tired of it. So... What I did is I put like this together where it's the bad side, bad it's good side, and then you flip it over and we're just gonna see how this turns out. together and now it's time to put it right side out and see if it worked. Okay. 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 Okay, it's not. It's not looking too bad. It's, it's actually not looking that bad. Did I actually do this right? So I guess it's time for a try on. All right, so I added a belt to the look. I don't know, I think it does make it look a little bit better and it does cinch the waist a bit. I think it's just like all the extra fabric that's like gathering underneath is a little bit of a problem. 
But other than that, I don't know. I think it looks okay. Um, I might add some belt loops because there's that extra fabric from the top. And maybe I'll do that. But for right now, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. All right, I did it. I finished the dress. But now I just wanna ball it up, throw it in the back of my closet and never speak of it ever again. It turned out okay. There's a few hiccups here and there and I still don't really know if I like it. I thought if I thrift flip it and kind of make it more me, maybe I'd like it better. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll go with the cardigan. But anywho, I'll just show you it. So a lot of times when I do watch their flips, they're like cool, calm, and collective. And they're like, yeah, we got this. This is what you do. That wasn't me. As you could tell, I gave up several times to shut my camera off to probably scream in a corner because of a gosh darn dress. <sighs> but I mean, that's real life. And I, ugh, ugh, ugh. I'm sorry, that's just how I'm feeling today. It's just, oh. I'm gonna have to like, keep looking at it and be like, oh, you know what, actually, it's not as bad as you think. Do this or this. Like, maybe I'll get an epiphany in the middle of the night and be like, oh, I just gotta quickly do like this little thing to the dress and then I'll like make it all tie together because I'm tired and I am exhausted and I just wanna watch TV and eat food. And I think that's what I am going to do. So y'all have a good one. <laughs>